everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. So today we've done this really cute, bronzish, like, golden goddess look. Today I wanted to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of one of my most viral Instagram videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's get started. Come on, sisters. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation with the Estee Lauder. Double wear, and I'll have shades of everything down below. But I just make a stripe on both sides of my face, blending it in with a Morphe sponge. This will kind of give me a good idea of where to add more coverage. I'll just take it straight from my hand onto the sponge now, and just put it into the center of my cheeks. And as you can see, this is a very glowy foundation, but it's I would definitely say medium coverage. The Estee Lauder one's really good for all skin types, but I like to mix a little bit of face and body to make it a little bit more moisturizing, and not so matte as well. I'm now going in with my shape tape. You guys know this is so good. I would definitely not recommend this for um, anyone that has really dry skin, but super good. Actually, if you have dry skin, you probably just use an eye cream um, underneath it. That's what I do. I apply the eye creams like in the morning. I just add a little bit of my forehead too, just to brighten. And just doing the same thing with my Morphe sponge and blending it out. And I'm just going to take the excess from my sponge and put it right over my eyelids. So I don't like it to be very full coverage on my eyes because I want to look um, as natural as possible. I especially do this on days um, where I don't wear a lot of makeup. So I'm my no makeup, makeup days. <laughs> okay, now I'm going with my MAC Patrick Star Powder and Patrick's Powder. And I already did it under my eyes. So a little trick that I do with powder is when it's already under my eyes, I just kind of like, I don't let it bake, but I kind of press it in. Now I'm going with my Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. You guys know that this is my favorite, especially if you follow me on Instagram. I'm obsessed with this product. This is actually the only thing I use from the drugstore. <laughs> this was my first drugstore purchase, probably about like four or five months ago. Just really makes your skin look super smooth and airbrush. We want to look as plastic as possible. Okay, so I'm going with my Marc Jacobs um, Fantastic Bronzer. This one, if you guys watched my last video, which you should, is amazing. And I always use it on this Anastasia A20 brush, which is like a little, kind of like a dome brush, but oversized. And I get a lot, I love bronzer. And just starting where the top of my ear is to the side of my mouth is kind of about where I bronze to just get that cheekbone effect. Now I'm going to be taking it up to my temples and kind of pressing it there because I want it to be pretty concentrated so you get that illusion and I'll blend it out later. Now for blush, I'm using NARS Deep Throw, definitely a cult favorite. And I'm using an Anastasia A22 brush, just dabbing a little bit in there. And I apply a lot right here on the tip of my nose. And I kind of just bring it up. And I like this brush because it's like tapered, if you can see. So like when you do this like little blush face, I guess, it gets right on the apples and you can bring it perfectly on top of the bronzer so they don't mix and you don't look like you have a pink contour. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in for my new phase, the KKW Brightening Powder in the shade 1. And I like to put this just right underneath my eyes because it's going to brighten, which is basically my goal because I have, I want to say bags, but it's not as flat as I would like it to, to be. And I'm using the Morphe E49 this, which is another tapered brush. I'm going to put this literally just right here and just pack it right there. Can you see the difference? Damn. 
really is that bitch. And then I also like taking the excess and bringing it down a little bit. Wait, so now for a highlight, I'm using the Becca Opal. This is also like an oldie but a goodie. I'm taking this Anastasia A23 brush. And going right on the high points of my cheek. Okay, so I brought you guys a little bit closer so we can start working on the eyes. And today I'm using the new Anastasia Soft Glam. I want to say this is new, but it's um, one of their newer palettes. It's a really pretty neutral palette. Oh, it's literally like the most gorgeous palette I've ever seen in my entire life. Now taking my Morphe M518, I'm going to go into the shade Burnt Orange and Orange Soda, kind of mixing them and putting that just directly in the crease. And what I mean by crease is this little fold. So like when I look up, you see this like fold right here? That's where you want to place the color, starting from the outside and dragging it in back and forth all the way to the front. I usually go in the front like two or three times and then I just stick out here. Keeping the color nice and concentrated on the outside, but making sure to blend it. The Anastasia shadows are actually really nice, definitely worth the price. So it's really easy to blend as you can see that blended out really nicely. But I like taking whatever is left on the brush and just kind of putting it near my eyebrow. Especially because I have really hooded lids. If you don't have really hooded lids, and by hood I mean you have like that little skin flap right here. If you don't have that, then you won't need to really do this. But I just do this to um, give the illusion that my eyes are a little bit bigger. Okay, so now with my A25 from Anastasia, I swear this is not sponsored by Anastasia. I'm just going in with Burnt Orange and Rustic to deepen out the outer parts of my eyes. So I'm just going to concentrate it right here and just press. And then once I feel like I have most of the color deposited on my lid, I'm just going to take it and slowly bring it in. But keeping it, like I said, the majority of the pigment out here. Now I'm going to slowly build the pigment using a little bit more rustic each time and less burnt orange. Just so it gives you that nice dark outer corner. Now I'm going to be going in with the Morphe M506, which is a very small brush, taking Cypress Umber. I'm just going to dip in it probably like two times, and then dip into Rustic and dab off the excess, and just really concentrate this literally like where the fold starts. Taking a little bit more of Cypress Umber and tapping it off, I'm just going to bring it to the lash line now as well. So now to keep everything blended, I'm going to take a little bit more of Rustic and put that right in the crease just to make sure that Cypress Umber is nice and blended out. So now I'm going to cut the lid, which is kind of scary for some people, but I'm just going to take a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape on the back of my hand. And we're taking a really flat concealer brush. This is the Anastasia 18 brush. And a little trick that I learned from Violet Tchotchke's tutorial is taking the concealer, or I believe she used eyeliner in her video, and just taking it right along the lash line. I'm gonna go like halfway through. Make sure both sides of your um, concealer brush are nicely coated with concealer. And I'm gonna go like about to where you can kind of see like when I look down like where my um, eye stops and then a little trick is to look forward and look up and scrunch your eyebrows. As you can see it's going to give me a nice guide to where the concealer needs to go. And then once I have that basically done I'm just going to tap the excess concealer on the um, ends and then I'm going to take my finger and just pull it towards the eyeshadow. This is going to help a lot for blending later. And I'm just going to take a little bit of my Patrick's powder and just press it right on top. So now I'm going to go in with my Dosa Colors Ideal, um, I believe this is just like a loose pigment. Yeah, loose pigment and primer. So the top of this is a really metallic, beautiful primer. 
and then underneath is a pigment that you can see right here. If you guys have seen me do really beautiful bronze looks on Instagram, this is what I always use. I'm obsessed with this stuff. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to tap into the primer and we're going to put that literally directly on top of where the concealer went. But the reason why we did concealer, not this, is because it's going to block out the shadow. Now kind of shaking it so that some of the pigment gets up there. Tapping the lid as well so it doesn't fall over the place. I'm going to now pat this on top. And this pigment in particular is kind of crumbly. So it's like really, yeah, clumpy. And then you can kind of, uh, uh, just like slide it right on top. It's very soft and just really gives you that metallic look. And just patting and dragging right on that line that we created with the concealer. Now going back in with my A25 brush, I'm going to go into Rustic and Burnt Orange, tapping it off and just pressing it kind of messily where you can kind of see where the pigment wasn't originally deposited just to blend everything together. I also like dragging it out a little bit. Tiny trap. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take some tempera from the same palette and I'm gonna put that as my brow bone highlight because I don't like a super blinding highlight there, anyways. So I'll also clean up the shadow a little bit. Okay, so usually I do put a little bit of highlighter in my inner corner, but I think I wanna try using the KKW brightening powder. I have not tried this yet, so. Let's see. Like I said earlier, I prefer matte highlight. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Damn. This powder, this powder really is that bitch. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the top of this eye off camera and I will be right back. And now we're going into our bottom lash line. We're gonna take the first brush that we took, the M518 taking orange soda and burnt orange again, and I'm just gonna run that as close as I can to the lash line, but also bringing it down to kind of where like my fold is right here. Going into Rustic, tapping it off, and just putting this right below it next to my lash line. Now I'm going to take Cypress Umbra on the tiny brush again. That I've been just once or twice. And this I'm actually just going to keep on the out outer corner of my eye. As close as I can to the lash line. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. I believe these are brand new. Um, in the shade Boundless Bisque. I'm going to run that right in my lash line. I'm going to add some liner, some mascara, and lashes, and I'll be right back. So moving on to lips, I'm going to use Jeffree Star Cosmetics Celebrity Skin. This is my favorite nude ever. It's a perfect shade. Now we're with my Urban Decay Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss in the shade Midnight Cowgirl. I'm just applying this right here, and I'll make you as well. Now to finish everything off, I'm going to be going with the MAC Peppermint Prime Fix Plus Pink Light. This has a little bit of a pink hue to it, which is really pretty. I'm obsessed with these. They have a nice gold cool one too. Okay, so this is the finished look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, I usually stick to like more bronze and silverish looks. But if you guys want anything more or anything colorful, just comment below and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time.